It's all casting to the I'm nation. Okay. <laughs> okay, gentlemen, in your own time. Okay. Your face. <laughs> Sorry about this, but your face <laughs> just makes me, makes me laugh. Yinka, thank you very much for doing this interview. Does it matter to you whether your artworks are seen in public collections? I think it's ab absolutely important uh, for my artwork to be seen in public collections. I think, you know, the lifespan of a person is quite short. <laughs> but I think in a museum, uh, the work can be seen by many more people after we're all dead and gone. So your artworks for the public? I think that I'm having a dialogue with the public when I do my work. So there's a lot going on in the world. We've dropped out of Europe. Donald Trump's just been elected president of the United States. Why does art matter? Who cares, Yinka? There are other things going on. Well, I think art matters now more than it did before. Because primarily, I think art is about humanism fundamental human values, fundamental liberal human values. What's happening in the world at the moment is an erosion of those fundamental liberal human values. And I think artists always stand up for those values. I see you as the most political artist working in Britain today, Yinka. <laughs> How would you respond to that? I think that every act is a political act if you're an artist. It's a premeditated stance. So I don't think that actually there is such a position as a non-political artist. But you can be a poetic political artist. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so perhaps that's what I am. When you won the fourth plinth yes. over those lesser artists, <laughs> did you reach a new audience? Absolutely. I mean, I think that um, that was actually my first experience of putting my work, you know, into such a huge public arena. And I found that a lot of people are engaged with the work and also because of the issue that the work is addressing, which is actually about Britain's maritime history and empire. And I felt that a lot of people could see, you know, the relevance of the work and the relevance to them directly in terms of the uh, you know, multicultural Britain we have today. So your artwork exists in, uh, in galleries, it exists, yeah. in, uh, ex exists in private collections, it also exists as a conversation in, in newspapers and in the media, yeah. and I suppose it also exists digitally, hovering around in the ether. Yeah. How important it is to you that people can find issue, I images of yours online? Obviously, as an artist, you're not, you know, you're not just making work for yourself. And, and I think, actually, you, know, you do want an audience for your work. And all of the things you mentioned, they're just another way to find an audience for your work. I mean, it's an extension of the gallery, basically. Do you think art is a sort of social activity? Well, absolutely. I mean, I think it is. I think that that's the point of art. It's something that you share with people and uh, you also engage with issues that matter to people. And so, absolutely, yes. How does art interplay with your identity? The art that I do is an expression of who I am, what my history is, and the issues that bother me. And in terms of uh, discrimination, racism, all those things, I want to challenge you know, narrow views about those things. And I, and I want my work to be a way of kind of highlighting those issues, but not in a way that's sort of confrontational, but in a way that's kind of educational. And I think art can do that. Do you think art, you seem to be against ideas of narrowness and preconceived ideas, received opinion? Well, absolutely, yes. I think art, you know, is, kind of challenging those uh, unadventurous, rigid, conservative positions. Are you an adventurer, Yinka? 
Well, I think all artists have to have a sense of curiosity. And if you're not a curious person, then you cannot be an artist. How can we get more curious people? By showing them how exciting it is to be curious. You know, and it's about being broad-minded and open-minded about the world. And people who are creative in one way or the other tend to have that sense of adventure within them. What would you say to somebody who said, well, art doesn't have much agency, only audiences change the world, not artists? What a creative person will do is to open the public to new possibilities, what they don't know they want yet. And that's, but that requires bravery and that requires a lot of risk taken because it can go completely wrong because people are you know, by nature conservative and want to play safe. Whereas an artist is prepared to actually take that leap of faith. Do you think we see enough artists from Britain's, you know, former colonial past appear in our museums and gallery system? I think that um, that will change. And I think that the shape of the world was different. You know, the world was dominant, dominant by the West, and that's been reflected in the institutions. But as the world changes, and we can now see the rise of China, the rise of India, uh, the rise of some African countries too, as the world changes, that will then uh, be reflected uh, in the museums. You are an artist who deals with political ideas and, uh, and there's lots of uh, drawing within your work, but one of the principal aspects of it, which is really unique, is colour. And I wanted to ask you lastly, what do you think colour actually means within your work? I'm instinctively drawn to colour. And, you know, I like colour, I enjoy using it. And also I think it's actually a device to attract people to the work and then possibly draw them into the other underlying issues. But I think that if uh, the work were to be unattractive, perhaps people might be less sympathetic to what they have to say. It's kind of like bait then. It's like, <laughs> come and look at this. <laughs> Is it like that? Uh, well, I mean, I wouldn't put it in those terms, but, I, but certainly I think, you know, you do want people to, to, to look at the work and to engage with it. So you do have to, find the best way to do that. But that said, I mean, I enjoy making my work and I enjoy the color. I mean, primarily, actually, I think I make the work for myself first. And then if other people kind of, you know, like the work, then that's fine. Yinka, poetic political artist. Thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm.